Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here in our channel and if you haven't already done so make sure to click on the like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and make sure you share this video we're so excited today because what we want to talk about is a little bit of our story and hopefully you guys can have some nuggets on our experiences our uh, what we've done as an entrepreneur and Maria why don't we start off with this? How did you get started in real estate and even like just entrepreneurship altogether? Well, Jose, I mean, that's, I think I've always been business minded. As a matter of fact, I can remember um, from when I was young, like my family would always tell me, oh, you know what? You're, you're so business minded. Oh, you're so transactional. You're going to make a good businesswoman one day. And, you know, I just really started thinking about the possibilities of what a businesswoman does. What is an entrepreneur? Right. What does success look like? And so at that time, I wasn't really thinking about, you know, that part of my life as much as I was thinking about how am I going to get on a horse? How am I going to learn to ride? How am I going to follow that dream? Because I really wanted to learn how to ride. Right. And so when I got my horses, it just kind of came to that I happened to be around a lot of other horse ladies that were entrepreneurs that did have good careers and in, in successful businesses. And, um, you know, one of them gave me the idea to do a horse grooming business because I was so good at grooming my horse. And then from there, I'm like, well, my horse loves horse cookies. I want to make her some of the best that, I, that, that, that there are in the world to find. And so I started making homemade horse cookies and added that as another service to my business. So my first businesses were actually on Sandy Creek Ranch where I had my horses. That is great. Mm -hmm. Well, same here. In a way, I didn't make horse cookies. But it's amazing because the way that I, it works out is I wanted to be an entrepreneur because somebody told me I couldn't go to culinary school because I couldn't afford it. Yeah. And that got me into the road of trying to figure out how can I make more money so I can get money out of the way and follow my passion, follow my dreams. And that ultimately led for me to bring out um, so many different attractions, law of attraction, right? It. I was literally looking for ways to make more money, which attracted more mentors and opportunities, business opportunities, books and audiobooks and all that, where it got my mindset to the right and at the right place. I started learning more and more to the point where I created more value. Mm -hmm. And now we have multiple businesses and that's ultimately what it is. Um, you know, the one thing that really pushes me forward is being able to have the freedom of traveling and being able to observe so many different cultures and mm -hmm. as a matter of fact i'm going to the caribbean i believe on january i know it's so and exciting yes yeah, so it's super fun going to new york next week yep. and then afterwards i'll be going to la uh for christmas uh for christmas um uh break with my family but this is just what entrepreneurship allows us to do allows us to take our time back now it goes without saying, but at first we do put a lot of time. And even to this yeah. day, I still put a lot of time. The, the difference is that it doesn't feel like we're working. Right. It feels more things. I don't know. I can't describe it, but it doesn't feel like work. I'll literally be like, even just today being a Saturday, right? We're at the office. We're shooting some content for you guys. Yep. It's not work. I love this. This is fun. Yeah, I enjoy it also. And when you really enjoy what you do and you really enjoy expanding on what you've already done that has brought you success, it's just one of those things that just add value to what you're already doing, but also add happiness and joy to what you are already passionate about that's already working. Right, exactly. Like one of my favorite places is uh, Sedona. It's a beautiful, beautiful place if you haven't been there. It's amazing. Um, but I've actually just was there a couple of weeks ago and there's so many types of entrepreneurs out there mm -hmm. um very holistic you nice. know people that are believe in energies and vortexes and i did yeah. get a chance to experience some of that but there's entrepreneurship really becomes more of whatever you want it to be um it could be anything from just having your time back and it, it could be anything from making sure just working towards something that allows you to spend time with your family or even just making some money too because you know at the end of the day money isn't everything but it's a very much a requirement and making things 
work for you. Exactly. You know? Money's a tool to buy you the freedom to right. have the lifestyle that you want to have. Exactly, exactly. Money is also energy. So, yeah. you know, just like law of attraction and people are energy, um, money is also energy. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, when I was in uh, Sedona, I actually got, um, I was actually exploring some of the cultures over there. And it, it, I just found it so fascinating that there are a lot of tribes that, of course, throughout the land of the U.S., um, there were so many different types of tribes out there that started with just hunting and gathering. And it's pretty much entrepreneurship <laughs> because nobody gives us any of these things. Nope. We have to go out and work for it. We exactly. have to start. the. It's about creating that idea figuring out how do we how to make it happen where do we get the money from it for it where do we get the team for it where do we get all the little pieces of the puzzle that end up to the big picture of what our goal is that exactly. we're trying to achieve you know we don't have any employer or any um buddy that gives us a regular paycheck so if we want to make that money and be able to create that wealth and be able to reach our goals we've got to put in blood sweat tears and time mm -hmm. to be able to one day be able to be in a position where we don't have to work for money, money exactly works for us and talking about we'll buy that our time back <laughs> you know i actually got some mm -hmm. of these little souvenirs which is one of my favorites oh. when i when i go to different uh when I go to different places uh, Jose in the States. Jose and his souvenirs. He, he always picks up something on every one you of his You should try trips. this, Maria. You want me this to try is... your hot sauce souvenir? Yeah. Uh, I, I think don't it's know if I want to do that. <laughs> How spicy are we talking? I don't know. These just have funny names. I mean, we got uh, He hot doesn't sauce. know hot sauce he doesn't know how spicy it is i guess we're gonna find out spontaneous convention or ass blaster spontaneous combustion or ass blaster neither of those <laughs> sound fun i don't know i say let's flip a coin do you have a coin no i don't have a coin okay um, just, just, try <laughs> just try the spontaneous how about combustion. you pick because i am scared of both of those <laughs> All right, I have a spoon here. I guess we'll see how brave I can be. That's a lot, Jose. Is that an extract or a sauce? Yeah, that's a sauce. He literally filled this soup spoon with hot sauce. All right. Tell me how it is. Uh, are you? You, gonna, you just can't think about are, it. Are you? Are you gonna back me up on this? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. You, which one is this All right. One? Uh, that's the combustion, the a spontaneous okay. combustion. After I down this, you're getting some ass right. blaster. <laughs> How is it? This is actually the first time I was not aware that you could, that you would have to eat these. I thought these were just for souvenirs. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened? Is it good? Spicy? Hot? <coughs> oh God, that, I mean. It has flavor at least. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass down when I have um, some wings. Oh no, you know what, Jose, I think they hang on right away. there. I actually have a spoon. I don't think it's necessary, Maria. Well, I totally think it's necessary, Jose. What? Fair is fair. Like, why should I have all the fun? Let's give you some ass blaster and this nice silver spoon. Oh God. Since you're so special. And, and you know, as business partners, we have to have a part in everything together. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm gonna try a little bit. Uh, no, you're gonna actually. <laughs> Let me help you out. Oh, God. Then. I think you're good. I think it's okay, fine. I think you're good now. I think oh, that God. that's about even with what I got. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mm. I don't think these are meant to be. I really don't believe that. Oh, how, God. how does that taste? Oh, this is terrible. I know. My eyes still watering. Oh, God. This is a bad idea. Right? I guess this is part of entrepreneurship, <laughs> right? Sometimes we get good ideas. And sometimes we get ones that require a little bit more thought, but we still have to roll with the punches. Well, <clears throat> I just have to say that this is um, <laughs> this is a bad idea. I think I'm getting hiccups. 
Yeah, I think we're both gonna have heartburn later, but at least we made it through the challenge of right. trying these nice souvenirs that he picked up on his last trip. I'm gonna re I'm I'm um gonna re I'm gonna re <laughs> I'm gonna reconsider Oh god. I'm getting hiccups. Is that <laughs> normal? I don't know. Um my I can feel it in my chest too. I'm gonna have heartburn later for sure. <laughs> We should probably need to stop the video now. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Souvenirs can be fun, and we're just bringing love bringing you new and exciting content. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Absolutely. As we made it just for you, and we appreciate the support. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for being here, and we'll see you again soon. All right. See you later. Bye.